Here we have arrived at stage three. This temple is uh, so the supposed place where the kidnapped scientist Dr. O is being held. One thing to note, um, every enemy from here on out is an enemy. There's no such thing as uh, a false enemy that you can get arrested for punching like you did in the first level. Okay, here we're taking a little shortcut. We get the pass. And we're very fortunate that that pass was where it was. There's two very long corridors that are very annoying to get through. And we don't have to go through either one of them because the pass was found where we found it. The other guy that has the potential to have a pass, not so good. Now, here's where we're trying to overdo a shortcut. We're going against the conveyor belts, which can be turned off. However, it is faster not to go down those corridors to find the switch. So instead, we're going to try to fight them. These statues with the stabbing hands are giving us a little bit of a beating. And then there's this matter of not falling in the pit, walking backwards on these conveyors. Very tough to do, but manageable. Now that we have the pass, we can go to the upper parts of the temple. being used. Don't get licked by the torch. And then there's this maze of camera robots again. Don't set off the alarm. It's not like you can't survive, but it would waste time. This brings us to one of the trickier boss battles you'll find. There's this ninja with uh, all these uh, clones throwing stars at you, and you think you're supposed to just punch the crap out of them to take them out. Well, there's another way to do it that's much simpler. This floor crumbles. If you stand in one place for too long, you will fall into the pit and die. However, you can do the same thing to the ninja. All you had to do was take out a square section. And after a little drive to Switzerland, we continue our quest to rescue the kidnapped scientist. Here we use a remote bomb to get past that shield soldier so we don't fall off as the suspension bridge crumbles. You definitely want to be Grant when you cross the bridge and set off the crumbling. Otherwise, you probably won't make it. Faster than a speeding bullet! Why fight when you can just run right through everything? Now, here's a tricky part. This screen goes on forever unless you find this illusion switch. Here's the real base. The snow slows him down, so we're gonna find a hidden cave off to the left here. First aid kit. And here you get your first look at Grant's other skill, which is 
listening for the tumblers inside of combination locks, such as that door. All you have to do is push up and down to change the numbers until it matches. So you hear a upper ping whenever you hit the right number. Or you can just memorize the combination. Not the camera on the right, we're trying to avoid. Here we finally get unlucky. The pass was not in the first guy we encountered, and it was a trap. So, plan B, find the other guy that has the pass for sure. These particular cameras are difficult to get past, and I find it actually faster to set off the alarm and fight the battle. And again here. There's the pants. can run away if you have a way out. You don't always have to fight off all the guards. Grant was running low on energy, so we had to switch for a second. Now it was last life bar. That was a close call. Get past the checkpoint. And fortunately, we don't need Grant to finish the level, because this boss requires max. Mr. Bad Guy here has a hostage, and he will only let you attack from long range, so we use Max's sniper rifle to avoid hitting the hostage and shoot the enemy. The key is to make sure he doesn't turn so that the hostage all of a sudden faces your bullet. Best time to fire is when he does. And his gun will always appear in the same position based on where he's standing. Mr. Dr. O. Mr. Whatever. And we hear about the reason why he was kidnapped to get his computer program that mimics the movie War Games and tries to start World War III by automatically firing the missiles. And just like in that movie, they're going to play a game against the computer to teach it that it cannot have a winner in the war. 